Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Q and welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I would like to thank all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to my channel. That means you like my videos. And if you like my videos and haven't subscribed yet, hey, what you waiting on? Click the subscribe button and you're in there to get more of me, Mrs. Q, and my um silent but currently absent co-host CJ. Now where CJ went, I really don't know. Incoming. What you got there? What you got there? I guess he went to go get one of his tr treats that he hid somewhere. Who knows where? But anyway, um, yeah. So let's get on to it. Um, today is um, Women's Health Heart Health Day. I think it's, it's basically the month. But today was the day that it was Go Red Day. So, I have on my red. And the bag I carried today was, ta -ta -da -da, my Dooney and Burke Pebble Grain Leather Small Satchel. In red. Isn't she pretty? Yes, she still has her shoe. Lovely she is. That is, um... That is one of my favorite bag charms, basically. Technically, it is. It's the little shoe there. Nobody struts like her. Mm -mm -mm. Nobody touch her. But, yeah, old girl still hanging in there. But, yep, yeah, this is what I carry today for um Go Red Day. All right. So, I have two um unboxings for y'all. Yes, the queen of unboxings strikes again. <laughs> okay. So, now we're going to open the other one. Okay. The first one we're going to open. See, CJ, where are my scissors? He could care less. But anyway, the first one we're going to open. Um, I got this from one of my favorite sellers. Shout out to Denise Tabios. Um, she sold me this bag. And I bought it for my sister because she had saw my other one. She said she loved it. And she wished she had one. And well, I bought this for her. And then she said, well, no, I meant like yours. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> that's all I got to say. I don't have nothing else to say except for never again. <laughs> so, yeah, when people be wishing for something and you're trying to pay attention, uh, basically, I'm going to need them to be a little bit more um, descriptive. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to get this open with my keys because my boxing scissors are here and now they're gone. I don't know what happened to them, but hey, hopefully they, they, they show up soon because, yeah. But anyway, Denise is selling this bag and it was a good price. My sister said she wanted one. I thought she meant the style. I didn't know she meant the style and the exact same color. Um, sissy, if you watching this video, you know what's up. And, um, yeah. And you know, I am, if I can help it, I am not going to buy you a bag. The exact same bag and pattern as a bag that I have. Mm -mm, nope. Sometimes... When you grow up in a house where your mom used to dress you alike a lot, <laughs> you don't always want to look like your siblings. When you get older, you tend to break away from it. I mean, she didn't do it that often, but let's just say she did often enough to, to wear a lot of times I want to be an individual. So, yeah. All right. So, let's see what we got here. It's my invoice. It's my invoice. My invoice. So, 
I don't know if I'm going to keep or not, but we going to see. She packed it very well. As usual, Denise, she does an awesome job on packing. And she got it from my favorite store, Dillard's. How I really love Dillard's. It's one of my favorite department stores. You get what you want and more. Dillard's. Did I mention I really love Dillard's? All right. So, this is an Arden satchel. Isn't she gorgeous? And, um, sis, you sure you don't want this bag? Girl, it's gorgeous now. This is the Arden satchel in Stone Carlisle. Isn't she pretty? Okay. Now, what I like about this bag, as far as the, the, the um, colors, this right here, this trim, to me, I'm in love with the cocoa. That's what it looks like. It looks like cocoa to me. Wait a minute. I got my cocoa bag here. She's empty though, but wouldn't y'all say that's cocoa? Oh yeah. I'm in love with the cocoa. Yep, I'm in love with the cocoa. Okay, so y'all seen the arm before because Mr. Q bought me one. Um, and like I said, the only reason why I'm keeping that one is because he bought it. Mm -hmm. I still don't know how much he paid for it. I don't care. He bought it. That's all that matters. And yeah, and this thing is new with tags. Shut the front door. But yeah, lovely bag. Lovely bag. Brand new with tags. She has neutral colors. She goes with a lot. Oh my goodness. Comes with the registration card. Okay, let's see. And the dust bag. And like I said, y'all know what she looks like on the inside. No need to go over this bag again. Um, yeah. So time will tell if I'm going to keep it or not. Because I have a lot of bags in this color. And I thought my sissy would really like it because the colors are neutral in there. You got like a champagne color here. You got a beige cream color here. And then this is that Stone Carlisle color. It's like, I don't know. Grays, browns, light brown. I mean, it's it's real, real nice. So, like I said, time will tell if I'm gonna keep the bag or not. But hey, if not, y'all know y'all see it in Mrs. Q's handbag sale coming soon. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So, the last bag that I'm gonna unbox comes from the Brahmin outlet. In Orlando. Shout out to the Brahmin ladies at the Brahmin outlet in Orlando. Um, question for y'all out there who, you know, sometimes buy from the outlets. Um, I heard a rumor that the Brahmin store outlet stores were no longer gonna ship. Except for the um the uh Orlando store was still gonna ship and um even if they're having a sale, you won't get no more than the 30% off. And, of course, they still won't ship clearance. Um, so, if y'all heard the same thing, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know. But, like I said, I can't stand when folks ruin it for everybody. More than likely, people have been um, buying the bags. And when they hit the outlet, you see them on eBay. And they be at outrageous prices knowing they got them from the outlet, but it's all good because, hey, some of us don't live near an outlet, and, you know, the only time we can get bags from the outlet is by ordering them by phone. So, at least Orlando, my favorite store, from what I heard, is still going to be doing. Like I said, if y'all hear anything different, let me know. Drop me a comment in the comment section. Anyway, the story behind this bag is... I originally bought this bag in the Lisa Hobo, 
I was on the fence about selling my Lisa Hobo because um, after carrying my Lisa Hobo and Surfla Scala, I realized that the Lisa, although it's a nice size, gorgeous bag and style, it just wasn't the bag for me. It might be the bag for some of y'all, but it's not the bag for Mrs. Q. So I end up selling all of them, but the last one because of the color. So I was contemplating going back and forth whether or not I was going to include it in Mrs. Q's handbag sale. Coming soon, probably last weekend of this month. But anyway, and um, once I saw that I, I knew for sure, because basically this is why I was really holding on to the bag. I really wanted the ruby. And I've been fighting with myself because, and kicking myself basically, because I didn't get the ruby like I originally started to. So I said, if I find a ruby or this bag in another style that I can rock with, then I'm going to sell the Elisa. Well, the bag hit the outlet, y'all. So I was able to get, stop kicking myself and get it. And, oh my God, shout out to Evie. Even though my girl Nicole Rivera wasn't there, she went and found me one brand new in the plastic. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. And also, I saw this bag on eBay, and when it popped up, they wanted like, I think it was $338 or something like that for it. So, of course, somebody posted pictures in Brahmin handbags and accessories D, backward slash S, backward slash B. And I was just like, It was just anyway and then I said you know what this bag popped up on the internet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the outlet and sure enough I called the outlet they had the bag so it was all good and I swear to God the next day after I bought the bag somebody posted pictures to the Brahmin handbags and accessories D backward slash S backward slash B group and hey so now everybody knew they had the bag so it was just like okay cool y'all but anyway have the bag y'all have the bag so let's get her open y'all seen the ruby before this is and i'm going to say this this is the very first bag i have ever ever ever, ever, ever purchased from the Brahmin factory store, known to some as outlets, in Brahmin packaging. Brand new Brahmin packaging. So now, I can stop kicking myself, and I can sell my Lisa when I get around to it. And um, this year, I'm sticking to my buy one, sell one. So, of course, yeah, that bag is going up for sale. It's just that whenever I get a chance to do my, uh, my sale, then, yeah. So, without further ado, y'all. This is the Ruby Satchel in Berry Opal Seville. Now, for my Brahministas out there, Brahmin came out with a new Seville pattern this year. And it's more like a blue greenish color. Um, if I get a chance, I'll insert a picture right here. And yeah, but yeah, see, she's brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new. One of my favorite Brahmin handbags. She might not look like much, but hey, I like her. She has this big, nice pocket in the back, zipper closure, and um, brand new. She 
comes with the shoulder strap. She comes with the dust bag. And if there's a registration card in here, I got the bag. All right. She has, uh, um, like I said, y'all seen this bag before. Bag zipper pocket, leather pull, it's leather trim, very open, severe leather trim. And it has two slide pockets along with a pen pocket and a jewelry pocket with a leather pull. And um, yeah. So yeah. It's all good. Now